Hey guys, Sean Harmon with Canto USA here again to answer more questions that we get frequently about the retro line of product. Um, one of the big questions that we get often is, where does our product go? Where would we put that? What's the major goal for that product? It's a great question. The, our goal for our product is that we simply replace with LED product into the existing building facility fixtures. So with that, um, keep in mind our product is you remove the lamp, you put our product in, and it's all an LED fixture now. That's the, that's the goal, that's the concept in all situations, whether it's you know, those little E11 bases or those E26 PARs or even up to a PAR56. Uh, or in some cases, uh, a custom-built product, which we do quite frequently. Keep, um, keeping in mind that you know, we need an existing dimming system. The reason you buy our product is because it's Energy Star listed and it dims all the way out and we're lumen for lumen. Those are the big three. So we're big and bright, we can dim all the way out, and we're Energy Star. And you're not going to find that with any other product in the market that we're aware of or have seen yet. A lot of products claim that, but we haven't seen anybody that touches us on any of those three items combined. Um, the things to look for is existing working dimming system, uh, and cans that are in good good shape. So we want those bases to be nice and usable. So if you go in there and it's like those E11 bases that have had 500s in them and they're baked and cooked, you know, you should probably think about either changing out those bases or let us work with you on what the best way to fit our product into that fixture is. Um, so keep in mind, dimming system, existing fixtures. Uh, another couple of good places that we fit is asbestos ceilings. When we start seeing asbestos ceilings, I, you know, I used to cringe anytime I walked into a room and looked up and saw that. Now, not so much because our product goes right in there. Nobody has to abate anything and we can keep things in the, built, in the room looking like it did before. Uh, and then custom fixtures. A lot of big rooms, um, uh, important rooms, have th the architect picked out that specific light fixture or even designed a specific light fixture for that room. And so they don't want to change that out. They don't want to mess with the architecture of the room. That's really another place where we shine because we can do a lot to customize our fixture into existing fixtures. Um, if you have any questions about where we can go or can't go, as always, call us. We're happy to talk to you on the phone about it so you get the quickest response. Um, where we shouldn't go or what's not the best ideal situation for us. Um, for me, a big cutoff is like 277. Because we do have a, a, the Retro 700 and Retro 500, we do have a driver that works with 277. What is m more to the point on 277, especially in America, is that 277 typically is not dimmed. Typically 277 goes out and then there's some sort of control signal that goes and dims it. Um, now we can, con we can control or we can dim on a 277 volt that the voltage itself is dimming. We cannot at this moment do anything with zero to 10 volt DMX or anything like that going to the fixture. Um, another place that we probably shouldn't go is outdoors. We don't have anything outdoor rated at this time. So 277 and outdoor. Anything outside of that that dims all the way out, you really should give us a call and think about us because we'll be happy to help you in any way. If you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call or email at cantousa.com. Thank you.